Hey guys. This is definitely not my specialty. I don't set up an area I can talk to you in. I mean, I just kind of taped a bunch, try to find a corner that doesn't have much in the background, then taped up some maps, but, well, you know. <laughs> this is not really what I do. But I am uh, taking a path in this off season between, you know, 2023, 2024. Um, from lightweight to, sorry, from traditional down to lightweight. So I'm going to cut my weight down a lot. And as usual, I don't have any experience doing this and you're going to come with me. So I'm going to show you each and every step that I can figure, right? Um, the reason I'm doing this, uh, I know, I know some traditional backpackers out there, you know, the ones that watch my channel in a way, they're probably groaning but my back is becoming an issue. And, you know, I'm gonna work on it all winter, but in the meantime, especially because it's time to replace some gear anyways, I think it's time to try and cut down the weight a lot. And that means, uh, yeah, money. Some of it is costing some real cash. But anyway, today, talk about the uh, the first thing that I kind of tackled was my cook system all right so let's start with the simple stuff every time I touch this table the camera's gonna shake this this isn't as easy as it looks my god anyway I will try to be gentle with the table that's what I've been using this is a classic jet boil So, normal jet boil with a cozy, right? One liter can. Comes with a stove, does very well for itself. Got your lid. It comes with this too, but I haven't used this in years. It's, I left it behind ages ago. It's like, what is this even for? You know, to make it look, to make it look symmetrical, pretty, who cares? So anyway, I dug this out of storage just to show it to you so that if you're ever looking at uh, what it says on like Mountain Equipment Co-op or something for how much something weighs, then it does include this, but you don't need this. I didn't miss it, not for one second when I got rid of it. Okay, so I got my uh, little kitchen scale here that will measure things in grams. All right, let's get this in. Let's get this guy in. Could I show this to you? This is for like, you know, propping up your fuel on. All right, 386. But here's something about the jet boil. You know, you bring it down to the water and you wash it, right? This is what everyone does. I mean, you know, the official thing that Parks Canada wants you to do is you wash it away from the water and then you, you know, you wring out, you try and wring out the little bits. And, you know, so maybe with that, this doesn't get wet. But you know what? Most of us just wash it in the water. This cozy is always wet. So let's go get this thing wet and let's figure out what the real weight this thing is. Because if it's always wet, then... I mean, that's what's on your back, right? All right. I got it wet. I shook it out so it's not like dripping wet, but it's pretty wet. This thing now zero it out again. All right, now what do we got? 396. All right, so I don't think that was a whole lot of difference. But now it's almost 400 grams. Uh, I'll flash that up for you in ounces and pounds. All right, so now here's the replacement. Here's the box. This is a Tox 750 mil pot, right? All right, and the stove is, let's see, I got this, BRS 3000. So it's pretty freaking small, right? I mean,
Okay. And here's the pot. Came with a lid, which honestly I don't see any use for. So I might leave the lid behind. Yeah, why is this even here? I mean, it weighs 18 grams, but and I don't know, what's, what's the point? What's the point of bringing it along? Got this tiny little bag for the stove. It weighs, it doesn't even register. It's not even one gram. So that'll be good for the stove. And then you get this little pocket bag. So I think I can easily fit things, store things in here and then put it upside down in the pocket bag. That should be fine. This thing I don't think weighs, I think it also weighs like, it weighs 14 grams. So I think that'll be all right, you know? The jets, the jet boil, you know, you would take this thing and, uh, and then you put it in like that. That's how you would store it so that things didn't shake around on you and drive you completely and utterly insane, right? So this guy here, I think I'll be able to put this in like this. Yeah, actually, there's a lot of room left. Probably the stove too. Yeah, just in like this. Um, I don't know. Is that gonna drive me completely bonkers? Anyway, I'll figure that out later. That's something I can figure out on trail. One thing I want is this thing. I'm gonna keep this from Jetboil, the Jetboil set, right? This goes underneath your fuel can and gives us some added stability. I'm sure you've noticed if you watch my channel, but I'm not the type of person who does, spends a lot of time camping at a place that has picnic tables. So sometimes I'm outright just cooking on the ground. So something like this, yeah, 28 grams. So I don't think it's a huge, I think it's worth it. Especially because, you know, I'm used to this with jet boil. This goes in here, you know, after a little bit of work, locks in place, all nice, right? Now I got this thing and I'm gonna to have to figure out how to balance this Tox pot on top of it, full of water. Yeah, so that's gonna take a little doing, right? You can see I'm just sort of trying to figure this thing out right now, actually. It's gonna take some learning. That's just gonna to have to balance on that, right? So yeah. This is, in my mind, this is something I will benefit from for sure. This is literally the first time I am whipping this stuff out to try it out, right? So, all right, let's do some weighing. The stove, 27 grams. That is pretty freaking light. All right, let's get this on here, 79. I'm planning to take this along. Like take that, take this, and the stove, 150. And that thing is 396, so we're talking about 250 grams of savings, right? I will flash up the exact price, but I think this was about $90. And I ordered it online, I got it from Amazon. All right, so let's try this thing out. If I really wanted to give this thing a test, I would use a small one, a small canister, but I kind of want to use up these ones. The small ones I have are brand new. I want to leave them like that. So, all right, like this, get this thing set up like that. I have a plate down here now because I fully anticipate problems. <laughs> Not with this part, but uh, when I try and simmer because this is titanium, apparently simmering is a whole lot harder, especially with a stove like this, right? And I make oatmeal. Every morning I make oatmeal, so I've gotta be able to simmer. So let's figure this out, shall we? Okay, I also have to get this thing on here. Okay, the way I've seen people do it, you know, I'll take this off right now. 
is they just get this, this thing in place and then they spin, so, okay. All right. Whew. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, Jesus. That was brilliant. That was brilliant. I have fuel over my hand now. This thing was open. Brilliant. You don't think of these things. I mean, on that thing, I just automatically close it every time, every time I'm done cooking. All right, well, now I'm afraid to use this thing. How about I wash the fuel off my hand? I gotta give this fuel time to dissipate and then we'll try this again. Hopefully nothing blows up. Hopefully none of this goes on fire. <laughs> I better have some water handy. Okay, I think we're ready to try this again. Get that back on there, get a little bit of stability in place. I actually don't like the plate. I'm gonna get something a little flatter. I got a pizza box. I think uh, if you watch my channel at all, you know that pizza is pretty standard for me after a hike. Okay. All right. This is a bit of a moment right here. Okay, I like using I like spinning this thing with my left hand. I light it with my right. I got my water ready to go. I got my, my toast kettle here ready to be christened. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Okay, you can turn it down quite a bit. There, it's almost down to nothing. Of course, this is inside with no wind, but yeah. Damn. Okay then. Alrighty. Let's get you on here. And let's get some water. I'm trying to make this at least kind of realistic. This is exactly what I would use for water. This is 750 mils, so I can't really time this because, well, what would it matter anyway? I mean, the setting is random for the fire, but I mean, I can't use the phone as both a timer and I mean, we're pretty useless without that stuff, right? All right, let's see here. In this exercise, I'm just boiling water. Like that. Ooh, Jesus Christ. All right. I feel like by having the flame go around it like that, that's a lot of wasted energy, right? I don't want that. I need to even adjust this thing. That's the thing, right? These things are made to made to boil water. They have little they have the little uh, heat sink here and everything, right? Of course, that also meant that if you wanted something to cool off, it took all day. All right. Well, I don't think I want to turn it up much more than that. I think this will be generally the setting I have it. I don't think I want the flames coming up. I think that'd just be a waste of fuel. All right, I'm just gonna leave the camera on until this is done. And I guess that'll be an effective timer. Washed pot never boils, right? really close it's not completely going yet but 
and now it's okay I could think you can call it there all right let's turn this off okay I'll uh this video is sitting at 11 minutes so that's probably about nine this is 750 mils of water while well, it's not totally full so it's probably like 700 and this is kind of lukewarm right so mountain water is coming right out of like glacier fed creeks is probably going to take longer okay one thing i was already noticing as i was uh you probably saw me playing around with it a bit is that this that's hot that's pretty hot you know the the jet oil has little plastic also part of the insulation right part of the cozy you could grab this thing and just carry it around it was fine so these are little things i have to adjust to you know you got to be able to grab this thing and pour it into you know something supper i'm already kind of thinking that this might be the way right if i ruin this thing not a huge deal all right so pick it up Whew. I couldn't do it all day, but it does work. I wonder if this would, I wonder if I would ruin this eventually doing that. Well, it really is just a little bag for carrying this thing around. So not a huge deal. All right. The next exercise and the one that I'm kind of interested to see what happens is I'm going to cook some oatmeal. So I'm not going to waste this water. I think I'm going to pour a little bit out. Just a little, I need room for the oatmeal because right now there isn't much. All right, so I use this thing to go pour a little bit out in the sink. 700 mils is probably roughly what I use for my oatmeal. So let's see how this works. Like this is probably more like 600. I had to make room for the oatmeal, right? All right, so this is one of my standard bags. I just went and grabbed one. I still have some left. That means that I get to I get to eat the little Reese's pieces that I threw in there for flavor. That's kind of fun. All right, let's get this thing boiling again. That won't take long. I'll pour this in. I need a spoon. And yeah, let's try this out. I'm just going to use a regular spoon. I'm not going to go dig my spork out right now. I mean, who am I kidding? We're inside. There's no wind. I'm sitting in a... Anyways. Okay. Let's get this thing going again. Jesus Christ. All right, pick this up by the hot handles. Try to get it centered on there. Okay. Turn it up again so the thing is uh, Get it boiling again, right? Okay, I reset up the camera. I think it's a little crooked and stuff. So this has actually been boiling for a couple of minutes because I realized that I wanted you to be able to see what's going on in here, not just watching me struggle with this. Okay, so you want to turn this down as much as possible, all right? Otherwise, this will just overflow in a second. I not be able to accomplish that so easily in the wind, but right now it is really, really turned down. Okay. Get this going. Ah! My God, you think it's, you think this is the first time I've ever done this? All right, so I spilled a bunch of oatmeal. <laughs> oh my God, seriously. I can do this out in the wild. 75 kilometers in the middle of nowhere, but I can't do it as at a in like a kitchen. All right, well, probably won't eat this anyway. Okay, so I got 95% of it in there. All right, stir this up nice and easy here. Really, 
it's unstable, right? It's way more unstable than I'm used to, so. Are you out? No, you're not out. You're going. Try to turn you up nicely here. Want to get a boiling again, right? You want that simmer action to go. And this thing, one quarter of a turn and it's about 90% more flame, right? All right, got it pretty high now. I want to get that boil back. All right, there we go, it's coming. I'm used to being able, being able to grab it and This is practice for next year. This is not just for the video. This is, yeah. Gotta be careful, man. You can easily, I even overflowed this once this year. I mean, after all the practice I've had, I still overflowed it once this year. Not easy. So you can see it's kind of volcanoing up right now. Turn it down. Gotta get it ever so gently. You gotta get it simmering without overflowing it. And I don't have much room to play with here. Got to find that perfect little spot. All right, let's disturb the volcanoing again. Patience, patience, patience. I already needed patience with uh, the jet boil, so with this thing, I'm gonna need even more. Titanium, this is the weak spot of titanium, right? All right. Turn you down again. That was okay. It, it, it came up a bit, but that's normal. And then it kind of poofs through, and then it starts to settle again. That is if I manage to, the heat properly. Now, this is going to be fun out in trail, let me tell you. Breakfast is going to become a bit more of a challenge. Come on, let's get that rolling. Let's get that rolling boil going on here. You can do it. I'll get a bit more boil, bold. I'm starting to get impatient. Alrighty. All right, starting to get a little more boiling. And you down. Remember, I also like having soup on trail. Double soup is not gonna happen with this. Double soup barely worked with the one liter can that I had, the jet boil. Now this is smaller, so no more double soup. It's a little sad. But I wanna go lightweight, so I'm gonna make some sacrifices. All right. So, I think I have accomplished it. All right, that's perfect. Now you can see, I'll show you the flame. Hopefully that doesn't get blown out when some wind comes up. I do have um, I do have my sit pad, one of those things that you just unfold. I've never had to use it as a wind blocker, but I've heard of it being used as a wind blocker. So that'll be another option for this if the flame just gets like blown out and blown out and blown out. All right, been letting it boil for a bit. I probably overcooked my oatmeal. Even out in the wild, I wanted to make sure it's done. Turned up the heat just a smidge, got it boiling a little harder. All right. Nice thing about this now is when I'm out in the wild, oh, right now too, if I want, this is probably gonna cool down a lot faster. In like 10 minutes, I can probably, or 15 minutes, I can probably eat it. Whereas the downside of the jet boil is I would leave it or I would bring it over to beside my tent sometimes, pack everything, 
and then go back. And even then it would still sometimes be like pretty hot. I'd have to like blow on it. And just like kind of a thing. One downside of this is now I have to refigure out my fuel. With my jet boil, I knew that one of these big canisters would last like eight, nine days. Uh, so now I don't know what that is anymore. But usually I brought too much fuel anyways. So that's something I'm gonna have to examine a little bit, you know, that's the consumables, you know, if I do run out of fuel with a day or two to go, am I gonna die? I don't think so, right? Usually there's other people around and they probably have too much damn fuel, so yeah. Anyway, all right, this is a successful trial run. Aside from me spilling a bunch of oats, I think uh, I think this will probably work. So this was a good practice for my first time heading out. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be very interesting. My first backpack next year. It's gonna be a real my first real shakedown backpack in years. Like the first time I'm going out with a bunch of unproven gear that I don't really know how to use. Right? I'm just Bearing things out. Anyway, I think that's it for this one. Get out there and hike. See you on the trail.